don't know if you've ever seen one of these, Eugenio. Look at this. Hey guys, I'm excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Blue Eddy Generators. I have the AC300 and the B300. These bad boys are packed with 3,072 watt hours and this one is packed with 3,000 watts. These things are perfect for all your off the grid activities from working on the job site here to camping. Even if you run out of power on your house, you can plug in a 1,000 watt microwave and it will run for 2.6 hours. For extra capacity, you can add up to four of these B300s. That will give you well over 12,000 watt hours. This bad boy, when you want to recharge it with a 3,000 watt capacity, only takes an hour and a half to fully recharge. On top of that, when you want to recharge this, there's seven different ways that you can do this. From solar power, you can even plug it into your truck. They have those inputs these days. You can plug it into your house, car battery. When you do that, believe it or not, you can use all of those simultaneously, but as long as it doesn't go over 3,000 watts. Another cool feature that Blue Eddy has come up with is you get their app and you can run this entire thing on your phone through iOS or Android. Once you're in the app, you just pair with your Bluetooth and your Blue Eddy device will pop up. You just click it and you're connected and you can control it from there. Check out my link in the description below to get your very own Blue Eddy AC300 and B300. These things are fantastic. You will not be disappointed. All right, we got Eugenio working. Hey, Eugenio, como esta? Muy bien. What are you, uh, how's it going? You're working off ladders. I was going to get you a lift, but you said no lift. Oh, yeah, I'll find the lift next week. Oh, next week? Next week, next week yeah. got one yeah. coming? Okay. Got everything worked out yesterday with uh, Senorita? All good? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, yeah, that was a tough day. I had a tough day too. I want to show you something that I have. I have, uh, did you get that tool I told I was going to, I bought for you? Did you buy it? I'm putting your account. I'm yeah. buying the uh, uh, Miller. Yeah, did you get it? Yeah. Let me, I want to see it. So you had Eugenio, we're putting on the siding. We have to use a special nail gun. So I told him, I will buy it for him. Look at that. Let me take a look. That's the brand new. Yeah. All right. This is the special nail gun that shoots a 16 gauge nail. Only goes into where we're putting the trim on. So how much was this, Eugenio? Uh, 170. So if we bought, uh, if it would it be less money if we had a power one? I have a way that uh, we've got a generator that we can start using on the jobs. So when we buy tools, we can start buying them the power ones just in case. So I'll, I'll show you. I'm gonna get out and take a look at Eugenio's work. Are you all done on that? How are we, how are we getting up to the high spots? With the left, yeah. and, that, and that's coming Monday or Monday, Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday, but oh. next week. I want to cook you guys lunch here in a minute. I, I uh, have, you, have you had lunch? I have lunch, yeah. Have you had lunch? Yeah. Oh, I'll make, I'll make an afternoon snack. Let me show you what I uh, just picked up. See what you think of this thing. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, Eugenio. Look I'm at excited. this. This is a, a generator, okay? All electric. So we get to the job sites, you can plug all yeah. kinds of stuff in here. You can plug in your phone, you can plug in a microwave to cook lunch, a refrigerator. <laughs> so Everything. if you ever get to a spot where it's kind of tough and we can't get power, we'll plug you into here. That way, well, we can plug in your, uh, we hear you're going over the right now, your uh, air, what do you call that? Your air compressor. Air compressor. Uh -huh. But if we buy some tools, we don't have to spend a lot of money. We can get this closer to you and you can just plug your drills and yeah. uh, uh, that'd be better, right? So I, I wanted you to see that. I thought that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, all good stuff. Any more questions for here? So what Eugenio's doing now, guys, is these are the garage doors. They're called garage bucks. So we don't put siding on here. We put this thicker trim. We don't have, it's an eight inch. We have six and we have four out here. Is that what you need, an eight? Seven, yeah, it's coming seven and a quarter. It's oh, fine. That'd be good? Yeah, it's good. He'll run that all the way around. Then his siding will butt up to it and it looks good. But I need to know how many linear your feet. These are 10 foot wide, eight foot tall. Well, I can do the math on that. Do they, one, what, what are the three. lengths? Do they come 12 footer? So we have a lot of waste. Yeah. And that's what you see on this stuff. You go on the job site, you see a lot of two foot and three foot boards. Well, when you got an eight foot tall door and it's a 12 foot long, you got a four foot piece that can't do anything with. And I have a hard time throwing that stuff away. So I keep saving it. So Eugenio, we have a 12 inch wide one. 
which is very expensive. That's the band board. And his idea was to just cut that down to eight. That doesn't make sense. We'll just order the right one, save some money. No sense in using expensive boards that are 12 inches wide. Good idea. Thanks for mm -hmm. thinking about that. I'll call that in right Eight. now. Nine 12 footers. Nine Because there's one, two, three. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's three openings. Yep. So I'll call that in. Let me text it right now. All right, I like to get this done right away because uh, otherwise I forget. So I'm gonna text in Eugenio's order. In school, you never learn five quarter. Five quarter is one and one inch and a quarter. But for some reason on trim, a five, they call it five quarter. It just blows my mind. Just because you learn it in school doesn't mean it works in the real world. Maybe we have a little uh, that's fiesta that's in how. my deer blind. When you guys get all done, that's I'll get some cerveza. Really, this house is really nice when it's done. It's going to be nice, isn't yeah. it, Eugenio? We'll have to have you come over and hang out. Gracias, you, have, you, you said you made friends with the camel, Ralph. Have you gotten any more eggs today? <laughs> I want to buy more eggs. Did you bring some? Did you get? Have you gone not, down? Not, not yet, no. Oh, no. I want to see you go down and get some eggs. I think this is gonna be way more useful than the bobcat I just picked up last week. So we just finished up with Eugenio. I'm gonna go check on the pole barn. Flair asked me to check on that as they're starting framing some stuff on the inside. I've helped them a little bit with the design. I wanna see how that's going. All right, I'm down here at uh, Flair's pole barn and Mike's doing some work. Andrew gave him a call because I told him about this Blue Eddy uh, generator could be beneficial for these guys. There's no power and they're trying to do work. They've started framing some stuff up here and they got to power up their tools. So I'm here to show Mike what my new toy is that I can get this thing set up here and bring over some of his tools, maybe charge some of his batteries. They can continue working. So let's see if we can find Mike. This is really looking good. Let me Fine. Mike, there you are. Got a nice little prize for you, a surprise. This, I don't know if you've seen these before. This is a Blue Eddy generator, and I think it's perfect for what you guys are doing because you have no power, right? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we have no power. Uh, so I thought if I brought this down, you could, here's all your, some of your tools. If I charge these up, give you a little bit of extra power, you don't have to be running back and forth to the house. That would be awesome because right now we're charging up at, up, up at the old house and then bringing stuff down and, um, yeah, we yeah. don't have we don't have power here yet. We're working on it. All right, That's well let's yet. let's give this a go. I can plug these in, let it sit for a little bit. It should charge in a hurry. I feel like you got another battery. We got an empty hole here. Might as well take all the opportunity we can to charge everything up. How many of those do you guys have? You got a ton. Uh, yeah. All right. 25 of them. So this is a, all these are 20 amps. So you could plug in a boatload of stuff. So I'm gonna plug this thing in here now. Look, it's already lit up. There we go. Fans are running. Wow. Fans are running. It's like the real deal. Isn't it awesome? This is like plugging it right into your house. The capacity, you can add a total of four of these. It's like a miniature power plant. And, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It's so, plant. and it's so solid. I'm just excited, excited with it. And then the deer blind we built, we can plug <laughs> right into here. Some of the viewers were giving me a bad time that you can't plug in a generator with gas and have all that noise and try hunt, which they're right. We've solved the problem. Problem solved. Problem solved. So, so. well, uh, I, gotta, I gotta cut a piece of wood over here, so. Can yeah, we, I gotta, try, gotta can you we wanna, try it out? Yeah, since I'm using all your batteries, you have a, something <laughs> you want, you wanna plug something in, you can. I got you powered up. I'll let you cut a few boards and then I'll uh, turn you loose. And this one has the sine wave, which is also way superior for equipment. Is that right? Yeah, I understand. If you're not using that, it, it's hard on your motors. All right, come around. I'll get out of the way. I don't have my safety glasses on. We'll get, we're going to give this thing a test. There you go. Awesome. I didn't see it bad an eye. It didn't slow down. Didn't, didn't spider. I know. Sounded awesome. So one board down, 47 more to go. <laughs> So guys, what I'm gonna do, I got my truck backed up. Here's the deer blind. And remember, you guys were saying I needed to have a generator that was quiet. I've got that now with my Blue Eddy. I'm going to load this up, take it over to Eugenio where the boys are working. It's noon, and we're gonna power up the generator, get the TV going, lights. I have a cooking griddle. Let's see what it takes to put this Blue Eddy to the test and how long it takes to drain her down to zero. So game on. Have you guys ever seen what a $450 hitch looks like. Now I gotta change this little ball out. Hopefully I have the extra one because this is a two inch 
and this is two and five eighths. That's right, let me go change it. Not tricky, it's a pretty cool little deal. Got the tongue weight on here, so I have to pull out this inside pin, take this one out, put it back so I don't lose it. If I do forget where it's at, remind me, I'll put it in the back door on the passenger driver's side. This goes back in, find the hole, put this back in there. I got my deer blind moved over to my house. Now, I know it's Andrew's, but it's not hunting season. So I'm gonna see if I can leave it here and make this be my very own, uh, my own catch clean cook. Basically, I'm just gonna be going to the grocery store getting hot dogs. So this could be the Friday afternoon hangout for all the boys. What I'm gonna do is save myself a little bit of extra lifting. I'm, I'm winded from jacking up this thing. And I didn't jack it up to where the tires are off the ground. It's just stabilized and it's not in a very good spot. So here I have is my Blue Eddie and I'm going to get the cables from the deer blind because it'll reach. Let's give that a go. And then I will start cooking up lunch for these fellas. I think it looks really nice when you stack them. I think that's impressive. Oh, I see the lights are already on inside. This works out good. Let me left the light on. Let me open up a window. Here's my fan. Might as well turn that on as well. Fan's coming on really nice. Woo, look at the TV. That just powered up. So we've got lights on in here. Let me check. Even the light's on in the bathroom. No sense in, I won't waste that light. Oh, what the heck, I'll just leave it on, see how long it lasts, that's what we'll do. So let's go check the percentage that we started with and see how long it lasts. We weren't at full capacity when we started here because we've been using it today. Right now, we are at, I think we're at 65%. The sun's kind of hard to see it. So yeah, let's go to our app and figure this out. Okay, so right now we're on the app and I've got everything going in the uh, deer blind, the fans, every light, the TV, the bathroom light. And it's saying right now we started with 65% power, 144 watts of AC is being pulled right now. Then it says 143. So it's giving me a really precise readout. We still got plenty of power, it's still holding true at 65. I'll check it in about a half an hour and see how I'm doing to make sure I have enough power to cook the hot dogs. I'm confident that we do. All right, so we're at 144 watts right now, 143. My plug in the griddle, let's see what it jumps up to. Okay, I got the griddle turned on. What's interesting is the deer blind barely pulls any power. We have low, we have LED lights in, the fan, even the TV's on. And when we plugged in this appliance, it shows you how much they pull. It went up to 1.5. So in the last 10 minutes, we went from 65% down to 62%. Let me get some hot dogs on here. This determines if our hot dogs roll that way, we're not level. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job for leveling her off. I washed my hands this morning. Washed, washed. Oh, and by the way, my teeth are clean too. Eugenio, hot dogs are ready. He must have his compressor going. We're gonna have to go over there and knock him off his ladder. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn her down a bit. So it's interesting, now that this thing has warmed up and it's not using as much power, we were at uh, 1,500, 1, now we're down to 98. That's pretty good. And uh, we started off at 64 or 5% power and it's been oh, probably 25 minutes and we have 58% power. When I crank up the heat, it jumps right up. What's interesting, this appliance kind of uses power on demand, so it doesn't stay full boat on, which is kind of nice. It seemed like it was cooling off, so I turned it up a bit. It jumped right up to about 1.5, and now it's back down to 97. So I think once it heats up, it settles back down. And we're at 58% battery power left in there, so we have quite a ways to go. I might be here, I might spend the night here. You know, I just realized, you guys, I'm in here cooking, the windows are all open, and I don't hear a thing. There's no generator noise, and that's kind of nice. When you're hunting or camping, 
I'm telling you what, this Lou Eddy is unbelievable. You guys are really gonna enjoy it if you get one. If you guys hear any noise, it's my ceiling fan that I have blowing in my little deer blind. It is, other than that, it is peace and quiet. So come on in here, check it out. We've got, uh, I'll get you your plates. You guys should stand here and walk around if you want. Do that, would that be good? Yeah, here amigos, yeah, take it all. Got uh, more chips, here's some more buns. It's a fiesta, hey Eugenio. All right, here I'll help you guys. I'll get out of the way here. There's a beef, that's cheese. You're making some good progress out there. Norbin, that one. Here's a cheese dog. I like it. <laughs> There's another one. So a little update, we got all the fellas in here eating. We've cooked the hot dogs, it's been a little over an hour and we're still at 54%. Even with the lights on, the fan on, the cooktops going. What else we got on? TV, this thing is really holding its weight. I'm really liking it. My bad, it's Friday and they're asking for cerveza, which is beer. I should have had those, but I only have agua, water. Next time I'll plan a little better. They gotta keep working, it's too early. They can have cervezas for happy hour. Here's the agua. Next time I'll be better prepared and uh, it's a little, it's not, not too cold. So you feel like you're making good progress? Doing good? It looks like it. Yeah. They're working in the shade on the back, right? Yeah. So a little recap, when we started off today with the Blue Eddy, we uh, made some several rounds. We stopped at Eugenio on the job site. We tried some of his tools on it. When we started, we had 67%. And then we went and saw, worked on Flair's Barn, charged some batteries up. And then we got over here and Eugenio and the boys are inside enjoying hot dogs and uh, relaxing. I'm not sure if they're going back to work because it's so comfortable in here. But we got lights going, the fan going, and when we started here, it was at about 65%. We're currently at 53 in an hour and a half's time of inside the RV. So with a lot of power being pulled, this thing does a great job. So as these guys finish up hanging out in the uh, deer blind, enjoying the fan and the lights and things are being cooked up, I'm very impressed with how long the Blue Eddy generator lasted. We had a lot of stuff going on today and we're still only at 53% power. I'm keeping it in my truck for now because I'm gonna move it around and keep using it, but it can easily find a home right here when we uh, do go hunting with flair and use it as the deer blind because it's so quiet. But the Blue Eddy is something that I'm extremely impressed with. I hope you guys will check it out. You will not be disappointed. So thank you for watching. I'm Brad the Builder and I'll see you guys on the next job site. <laughs>